thank you so much everybody for just being here your presence your zeal to learn and your aspirations to keep these lineages alive is what gives me tremendous energy to move forward. Today, the world is changed. I lived in ashram. My father ran Gurukula. And none of these are really applicable when we reflect to the changing nature of the globe. Particularly, when we think of agamic education, the situation is a bit dire because let's be honest here there are four vedas there are 92 agamas each and every agama is considered just like the vedas but where do you go to learn these agamas which gurukulas and ashrams are offering the teachings for these agamas which university institutes and departments are responsible to carry on the knowledge of these agamas. Are we supposed to let these traditions die? I have had this tremendous moral obligation to start speaking because I didn't know what else I could do. I don't have power like many of you have. I have no resources. I just have a feel of moral obligation. And I knew I had to start talking. And then the first time I gave my public discourses, the students I found were listening were coming from Meghalaya and Manipur and Mizoram and 12,000 feet high above Namche Bajar in Nepal, in Mustang, and Brazil and New Zealand and Mauritius and so many other places. I am somebody who touched a computer at the age of 30. I didn't know the power of modern technology. I instantaneously realized that we don't need a house in the traditional sense anymore. There are new types of windows and doors today carved through technology. And my students selflessly helped me to come this far and made this real that we can actually share this knowledge unconditionally throughout the globe. I hope we will eventually have the house also in the physical plane where we could not only keep these agamas in their book forms, but have some congregations for students and teachers to meet occasionally or regularly, whatever is the desire of the mother. But for all these to happen, we need to plant these desires in your heart. We need you to have this dream. This is not a dream against somebody else's dreams. This is not a dream for me to be in power or have richness. You know what? When I left home at the age of 12, I have slept under the stars. And my gurus have raised me and have enabled me to come and speak to you like this today. I hope you can help to keep these traditions alive. Thank you so much.